So there I'm adding a little hint of color just for the focus up here on that mountain where I would love to be today skiing, but I'm enjoying painting just as much. Carry that color through a bit. Now I see this linear repetition, so I'll just place that with the color here. Get a little bit of uh, cooler tone in the shadows. So these are like my mixed grays. See, they're just subtle, subtle grays. There's some green in here. And uh, yeah, what do I do with here? That's sort of a foreground thing I haven't decided yet, but you add a bit of blue to that. Bit of a strong color there on the side, so I might take that out. Well, it doesn't hurt to finger paint. There's little rocks here. And uh, let's get back on the palette knife. You know, when you're working an abstract, you can always turn it upside down or sideways, see how it, what it's doing. And if you need to add a bit of color, you can just wash it in, reflect it. I do like the white, so I'll just keep that. Yeah, that kind of feels like the cloud formation that's surrounded this mountain and allowed some of the lights to uh, glisten when it comes through the clouds to glisten on the part of the hill there. I'm going to bring a highlight there to that. So to get a highlight I just use a white and just a little bit of a warm color in there. A little orange or cad yellow. I like that little exaggeration there. The ski run. And we can carry some palette knife through. Some different angles there. There's my ski run. A little bit of orange there. So I started off with uh, just throwing black and white, black and gray, and leaving the white of the canvas. And then I added touches of color. Uh, you know, you can put the paint right on the canvas and Carry it through. Uh, I don't want to overdo the marks. It's it's uh, nice to see just that little bit um, passages coming through and back. So the color balance. Let's just get some gray there. Bring it in and hopefully through the painting a bit. Some soft edges there, wisps of the tree. Uh, 
little windswept breeze. Parts of the mountain, a little more accents. Oh. And uh, I haven't had a chance to stand back from this exciting expression, but I feel like I'm in this uh, plateau on the mountainside with the snow glistening through some of the areas here. And hopefully I've expressed that little bit uh, on the canvas with my expressive brush strokes. This is rather strong in the front, so I'll just see how, how I can soften that a little bit. Uh, Maybe by lifting all that sweat. Yeah, that's good. Um, something here. I always like to put a bit of red. It's an exciting, warm color. Uh, that adds warmth, even though it's a cool red, it's just a little bit of warmth to the foreground. And uh, just love that purple, so balance it. Bring your eye across there to here and back down. Good. Well, here's my little value. for the day and uh, made me appreciate again some of the strong feeling and contrast in the mountain up here and the fresh air. So I just looked in the mirror and adding the last little bit of touches over some of the white areas, filling those in, and noticing that I do appreciate the textures that have uh, built up on this canvas thanks to my thick uh, paint applications with the palette knife or with the brush. And then lastly, I've just added just a little bit of color um, repetition throughout. And it's, it's more uh, a painting about the rhythms uh, and the textures I felt how up here on top of Cypress Mountain. The last little finishing touches of my little brush uh, and before I sign the piece, I uh, just uh, recall and appreciate uh, all that nature has to give us a um, sense of peace. And, you know, even though you may feel as dark as some of the shadows, uh, coming out here and taking part of God's beautiful creation is, uh, is something that I like to express with paint. and. Hope that um, I can share that with you uh, in my painting, even if it's abstract. But in that way, I feel it's uh, an authentic expression of the joy I felt up here. Here by Lynn Valley, uh, where I know that uh, some of the group of seven came to paint. And um, Varley was one of them that uh, painted uh, from this location and visited often. And so for me, I appreciate uh, not only what uh, I, uh, took from his work.